Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you are good. Today we are going to be using one of the most satisfying pouring techniques and we're going to be playing with lots of colors to make a fantasy flower. So let's get right into it. This is the plan for today. First of all, we are going to be using Arteza's canvas. It's 11 by 14. It's black, but I'm going to uh, make a dark blue background. And we're going to be using a cupcake molding because I haven't used it for some time and I just, just fancied using it. I also had some requests to try a similar flower I did for the Great Switcheroo a long time ago, but with different colors. Colors we're going to be using today, phthalo blue, rose, silver, gold, mars black, pearl white, and deep purple by Dale Rowney. This is my special tool for today, my little cupcake mold. That's going to be the center of my flower. I will see where to put it once I coat the background. Because we're going to be swiping petals, I usually use paper towels, but today I just cut some strips of plastic sheet. I will see if it works. If it works better, then I will use that. If not, I'll go back to using paper towel. I'll tell you what I mixed here. So I put one third of paint, two thirds of Floetrol and just added a bit of water to make the consistency like this. Can you see how it runs off the stick? It's a little build up. If you want to watch me mixing the paints in detail, there'll be a link in the description to a video. And at the end of that video, there's the whole section devoted to mixing, proportions and diagrams. Got my palette knife. And I'm going to spread it evenly. That's a beautiful color. I'm sure it's going to be darker once it's dry, but I really like this part. Icing the cake that I actually never do. I, I don't actually like the icing on the cake unless it's marzipan. I do like marzipan. I think it's all nicely covered. I don't have to worry if it's not enough here because I'm going to do a swipe anyway. Uh, now, where do I want my the center of my flower? Somewhere put it somewhere here. Therefore, I'm just going to remove some of the paint. That's the space for my little cake mold. That will probably be enough. Now, what colors do we want in this? Oh! <laughs> Apologies. Okay, again, <laughs> mold goes here. Now, what colors do we want? So maybe, maybe we'll start with small amount of black. So I'm imagining that the mid part of the flower, there's always some kind of black. It's not going to be a real flower though. Okay, now gold. Why isn't it dripping? Gold is quicker than the black. Oh, oh well. I think I didn't put enough. That was the reason, but it's all right. Purple. Or maybe I shouldn't put too many colors actually in the middle, should I? I think black is nice to separate the colors. I think it looks pretty. A bit of gold, purple, and I think that's it. Otherwise it's going to be way too big. But I'm enjoying the, <laughs> the pattern so far. Very pretty. Okay, let's just finish with black in the very middle. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for it to just drip down. Wow, look at this. This is so pretty. I'm going to use the needle to lift it up. And hopefully I won't destroy. Oh, nice. Instead of spreading the paint, I want the paint to go towards the midsection. But I do like the pattern, so I am not going to draw all over. I'm just going to leave it like this and then I'm going to add black in the middle. Oh, I think I like it. I'm just adding a drop of black in the middle. So now I've got purple, rose, gold and silver. I'm planning to swipe with darker colors first and then I'll be adding more petals with some lighter shades. As you've noticed, I put the petals on the outer side that I I just thought it was too big. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
Okay, so we've done purple, now we've got rose. I don't know whether to put it on top or behind the purple, probably doesn't matter. I did mention I'm going to use silver, see if I like them or not. I think we need to layer more colours because it's not big enough. So I'll be adding more colours. I'm going to be adding some gold as well. I think we need more of this colour, pearl white. That should be absolutely plenty now. I gave up on my plastic swipers, I didn't like them. I've got my paper towel ready to be used. This is water, just pure water. Okay. Look at these. That looks like some very strange sea creature. I think I quite like them with black, to be honest. Maybe that's what I should have done about spreading a bit of this black. Wow. I think I should change actually from flower to bizarre sea creature. That's what we have now. Those cells, where do they come from? Must be the metallics playing. Okay, so what shall we do now? Maybe just very, very thin sections in between. In between. Some of the pink, some of the gold, maybe the white. I am really just playing now, see what happens. Oh, I think that's nice. I'm going to do that in between. Quite like it. I could have put it in between all of them, but I'm swiping quickly so that it doesn't spread too much. I think that pink with the purple and the white looks really nice and gold. This will be the craziest octopus flower ever. But sometimes I just don't have a plan. I just kind of improvise and see where it goes. I did add a dash of uh, actually American floetrol, so maybe that's why I've got this incredible cell formation. I'm not even touching anything. Goodness me, this is this is crazy. This is honestly crazy. A couple more. Oh, I'll just put them here. I'm not too keen on this one. I'm going to repeat this one. Much nicer. I think it's the gold and the pink that looks so nice together. Well, this video is purely for fun. I mean, especially for me. I hope you're enjoying it too. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Well, my dear friends, now I need your help. <laughs> what have I actually made? What can you see? Please leave me a comment. Maybe it actually resembles something. The plan for today was have fun and have some nice colors. So mission accomplished. It's not finished. Once it's dry, um, I'll try to embellish it. But I am really, really curious. What do you think? What does it look like? I should definitely leave it. I don't know who else experiments at midnight, but I think it's time to, just time to leave it and see what happens once it's dry. Two days later, it's completely dry. Can you see all the metallics playing now? This is so pretty, it's much prettier than I expected. I did say that I might embellish it, but to be honest, I actually like it as it is. I'm just leaving it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use varnish. I'm using polycrylic min wax and I'm going to use this brush and make one layer, very thin layer, as quick as possible. It's very important to make it super quick. I washed the painting just in case there was some residue. So I washed it with soapy water. It's completely dry and now I'm applying varnish. But would this varnish have to be super quick? 
otherwise you may get some stripy marks and I really don't want it. Very gentle, very light-handed and that's it. So that's the first coat. Oh, I also signed it. Sometimes I sign them on the side. Okay, so second coat. Now I've been trying various brushes, I've been trying sponges. Nothing really works well for me except for plastic sheet. So that's what I'm going to use. As I said before, I'm trying to be super quick if possible. Okay. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. happy with how this one turned out the colors especially I was not sure they work together so well but in the end well I couldn't be happier now it's not exactly a real flower but I hope you liked it anyway be sure to join me every Saturday when my new videos premiere I chat with all my subscribers and I have awesome time I'll see you all next week thank you so much for watching bye bye